but I can't stand the thought of mine. Since You've Gone to Heaven, that song, um, I wrote that. Um, it's not completely personal, but it started in a, in a very personal place. Um, my dad passed away right before 9 11. And when 9 11 happened, you know, the whole world was just, or at least our country was, was it just was crazy. And, and I thought, it, I thought, man, since my dad has died, the world has gone to hell. Like I just, I thought that, and I and I had that idea for several years. But I just, I, and I would try to write it, but it would just be too sad. Not that it's real uplifting on this, um, but I, I, I was getting to know Shane McAnally early on in our writing relationship and friendship, and I shared that idea with him, and he loved it. And he and I were, we drove to Tunica one, one night to gamble and on the way back, we started talking about, you know, how it could be written and, and talked about it a lot. And then that next week we wrote it. And I thought it was real important for this record because a lot of times if you're from a small town, the thing that brings you back is a wedding or a funeral. And I also think in small towns, like for myself, when, when my dad died, you know, there were almost 500 people at his memorial service. And I think that's a really, really special thing about a small town because the only other people that, that get that in the world are famous people, unless you're from a small town. And when something like that happens, the people in a small town really rally around um, the, you know, family members. And so I thought that was a very important component to put on this record, you know, along with talking about all the gossip and, and all that, there's also that really amazing, it's all amazing, but, but I think for me, that's, when I saw that, I really saw what's special about a small town. Since you've gone to heaven, 